Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm Sabira aka Sabra the Simmer. Happy Tuesday. So I'm coming to you with a slightly different video today. I've done this before where I've showed you my current household and I built them their new home and I decided to do it again because I've started a new save and I'm kind of excited for it so I'm gonna tell you a little bit more about it. <laughs> so I am starting this legacy in Oasis Springs. I've been playing for like four sim days I guess you could say and that is our sim Anthony and his dog. I think I named the dog Gilly. So this is the home, I built him his home before I moved him in. Well, I moved him into the empty lot and then I built it. It is a 20 by 15 lot and it's like a modern oasis kind of home. I saw it on Pinterest, so I'm gonna put the, on the screen the image that I used. I don't know who's calling us, but okay. <laughs> but I put an image, I'll put an image on the screen to show you what my reference was for this build. I'm really proud of it, it's really cute and it's very affordable. I don't remember what the bills are because I don't think we've had bills yet, but it is very affordable. I, it's a starter home, it's 17k, fully furnished, and there's like little bits in there for a pet because I will get into why we have a pet. I'm starting this legacy, right, and I'm doing a bit of a challenge with myself, and I don't know if someone's done this before, I, I really didn't check, so I don't know. But I'm basically doing like an ABC kind of challenge, and it's like a legacy. And obviously with 10 generations you're not going to get through the whole alphabet, so I don't know how it's going to really work, but I think I'm just going to do it based on whatever letters I can use kind of thing. So, the first gen I'm starting with an A name, his traits have to be a, like beginning with A, so he's ambitious, he's he's active, and he's a, uh, what's the other one? An art lover. Is it an art lover? I think that's what it is. So that's his traits, and his aspiration is friends of the animals, I think it is, because that's under like the animal trait, um, animal aspiration. I could have done athlete, but I didn't really like that aspiration too much, so I just left it. But he is like a plus size sim, and he wants to like get himself fit and healthy, so I thought that would play into the aspects of him being active, like he's really into being active. He's also in the, I think it's called a powerhouse club. So they go to the gym every now and again and do some exercise and he's just going on a jog with his dog Gilly. But maybe I should give you a little tour of his house before we move on to like build a new house because he has already met his partner. Oh my gosh, he's already met his partner. Move the walls up so you get the full view. But he's already met his partner. Um, it happened during the neighborhood, what is it called again? The welcome wagon. <laughs> his neighbours came over and one of his neighbours, I don't know if it's this side or the other side, but one of his neighbours was a similar fan in the gallery and just put in the world and was like, she's actually really cute, so hopefully they do hit it off. And they have. I do need to figure out all their traits, but so far they're boyfriend and girlfriend. Also, I forgot to mention, I'm playing on short lifespan, so things have to happen pretty quick. So I feel like he's only got, I think he's only got like eight or seven days left of being a young adult. So. We're trying to get the baby started, we're trying to get married, so that's why I'm building them a new home, because they need more space. And this was just a small home, it's not a tiny home because it's 104 tiles, so if you wanted to like squeeze it down a little bit, you could make it a small, I mean a tiny home and like get the benefits from that if you wanted to. Oh, they're back from their, their little jog, and he's looking slim already, like, it's kind of interesting to watch your sims like change in their body shape and everything like that, but... Let's give you a little tour. So this is the main entrance. You come in and there is the bathroom. It's a very simple, very basic bathroom. There's not much room for much else, so that's it. Like you can see, he's not really ready for children. He needs to do his dishes. <laughs> and this is his living space. Oh, he's off to work. I was like, why is it fast forwarding? But I think he went to work, so yeah. Poor Gilly's by himself. I hate that they put the jump on him. I don't know why he's got a jump on. I don't like that. <laughs> but anyway, this is the living space. I just went for a red theme. I don't know why, but I just did. And then I just stuck with it. So like woods and some reds in the living space. And we have the kitchen over here. Just a small little kitchen. Functions well. We've got the fridge there, the stove and the sink. We've got a little bin. The little dustbin and brush and everything there as well. And if we come out, his bedroom is here very basic again just the bed a rug a little side table we've got some pictures up there a wardrobe and a mirror it is a very cozy home i love the lighting coming through the house but it is a very cozy home but it's great for like a star if you're not doing a short lifestyle lifespan challenge where you're probably going to move out quite quickly then i would definitely like recommend having a small home like this if you want it it's on the gallery already my gallery id is the summer and is he back from work already those lights. And this is Gilly's little food bowl. There was nowhere else to really put it, so I put it outside. And I kind of like the idea of it being outside because the dining is outside. So, um, 
admit the truth yeah do that yeah so i kind of like the idea of them having breakfast lunch and dinner together well when gilly isn't at work he is a civil um not civil what is he he's a critic what is it? What is it? Yeah, it's a critic. That's one of the creators. I didn't. I could. I guess we could have gone with an A, but I didn't want him to be an astronaut. And because I. Oh look, this is. I think her name is Emily. <gasps> is that a bump? Because we have tried for a baby. I don't know if that's a bump or not. I don't know if it is. We've tried for a baby like three times, and she's not in our household yet, so we can't see. But we did ask her if she wants to expand the family. She was like, "Oh, I'm glad you brought it up." So I was like, "Oh, okay." So maybe that is a bump. Gem 2! She is so cute. I don't remember who it was who made The Sim, so if I still have it in my library, which I think I do, I can't remember, I will put it in the screen or in the description as well, so we can see who it is. But I think she's pregnant, guys. I should probably come over to tell us. But yeah, I want to build them a new home, and I don't know, I might, I don't know if I should keep it on this lot, because I feel like with Legacies you tend to use the same lot. Yeah, I was thinking of doing a career that I don't normally do, and I've I've definitely done this career before, but I've just never really gone through it. So I wanted him to do something that was different, and I want him to at least complete his aspiration. And if possible, if we could get through this aspiration, then we'll do another A one, so the athlete one. She's leaving. Well, he is at work. I'm sorry about that. Look at Kelly <laughs> running around the house. But yeah, that is the house. The back garden is pretty much empty. I didn't put anything back here other than the bin. But yeah, like I said, it is on the gallery if you want it. It's a cute little star home. Your sim. And he's gonna go finish work. But yeah, I'm gonna build a home. So I'm gonna get into the speed build part of this and we can chat more about the build, everything like that, in the speed build section. <laughs> so there's a little background noise right now because my window's open. So if you can hear a dog barking, it's not my dog. I don't have a dog. It's from outside. I live literally in like right next to a bark, so apologies for that but yeah the speed build part of this <laughs> video so i wanted to share the details and everything like that with you so it is up in the gallery like i've mentioned if i haven't already mentioned it is up in the gallery my gallery id is really similar both the builds the first build and this one are up in the gallery this one is 39k so a bit pricey especially for like first gen kind of like home but if you're playing on a short lifespan and you've moved in the sim like you get 20k from them so if you can make up the other like 9k from work or whatever the case may be then you're okay it is overnight 39k it's 39 40 sorry it's 39,348 so that's how much it is it is an aid 20 by 15 and it was oh, and it is also on a 20 by 15 lot it's three bedrooms two bathrooms you've got two main bathrooms and then you've got a small like half bath with a laundry room which you'll see when i do the tour at the end as well so i was kind of not sure if i would do a voiceover for this part because when i was watching this back to edit it i was like it actually feels kind of nice to just watch it with the music but it's like 25 minutes 20 something minutes long so i don't know if you want to watch 25 minutes of like no talking i'm not sure and there's not loads and loads to say about the build because i did kind of share my thoughts and stuff whilst i was in the tour and also like the process of this kind of legacy and stuff like that anyway but i will get into it i'll talk about it a bit more so I just decided to play on short lifespan because I find it to be a bit more fun because sometimes I find myself kind of just like trying to get through gen like generations and things like that I was about to say legacies but generations and sometimes it's just a bit of a struggle so I decided to just play on short lifespan because then I can be a bit quicker with things I can rush the story but like not have it feel like I'm trying to rush it but just rush it based on the fact that we have a limited amount of time so yeah I just started my first sim like i mentioned earlier i'm going with this theme of doing like the alphabet but obviously we don't have 26 legacies i, I don't wait how many letters in the alphabet 26 or 28 i don't know <laughs> but anyway i don't want to go through that many generations so i'm just thinking of how i'm going to do it but i don't think there is literally every single letter in the alphabet that can be used so this time i'll just have to skip so i'm trying to think of one for example maybe g but then i'm like isn't there like a good vampire? Would that be classed as G or would that be classed as V? Who knows? But things like that, like I, I would just decide on like, I'm, I'm kind of relaxed with when I do gameplay and stuff like that. I don't really fuss too much, but yeah, it's been kind of fun playing on short lifespan and I've done it before. I've done it on my laptop where I've just played on short lifespan and I've gone through like four generations, maybe five. And it's actually really fun, but you do get to a point where you're like, oh, I just wish I had the pack so I could do extra stuff. But, but I think that's probably why I've started it out 
here on my um, console just so that I can have more packs and do more things with the legacies and things like that as well and just really expand on that the individual legacies and have more options for like careers and things like that if you wanted to do like it properly like I said I don't know if this is already a challenge or anything but if you wanted to do it literally everything has to be the alphabet you'd name your pets after the alphabet that you run for your generation your house might be on the lot with the letter of your alphabet the alphabet that you're on or you your career is the letter of the alphabet you're in it's only because i've done astronaut before for some of like one of the career one of the legacies i've played with before and i've done athlete before and i get kind of bored and i don't want my sims to just be like super super muscular i don't know why i just it's not really for me so i didn't really want to do that and i didn't see my sim becoming an athlete either like as much as he wants to be active it's more just for him as opposed to that's his like life goal i want to be an athlete or i want to be like a personal trainer kind of thing that's what he's saying he's just doing it to stay fit or to get fit essentially he wants to live a long life <laughs> ironically even though we're playing on a short lifespan but that was just what i had in mind so yeah he's active he's ambitious and he's an art lover i'm pretty sure there's some other a m traits but i just used the first ones that i kind of saw and i was debating about some of them but I think I'm happy with what I got. I think they work. The only one I'm a bit like, eh, the art level one, I just don't know how to really incorporate that into his actual storyline of his life. <laughs> it just feels like a bit of a random one, so I'll just get him to like randomly like look at the photos that we have in the house or like art that we have in the house just so that we can, you know, kind of support one side of his personality. Like the art level one just only works if you're like a sim who's like really passionate about art and creativity and things like that. But my sim really necessarily isn't. They're just like, they want to have this family he wants to stay active he wants to he is ambitious so he wants to like keep getting promoted and level up in his career and things like that a few of you have already downloaded this build which is great to see thanks for that appreciate it <laughs> and i post i've started to now post my builds like once i finish them i just post them up in the gallery and then that way i can just talk about it in the build without thinking oh wait did i post up to the gallery but yeah i'm just starting to do that now so it's just a lot easier i really wanted to use this tile um the, the orange one because i saw it in a build like in a real life build and i was like i swear we have that tile in the base game um like i think it is the base game anyway but i was like i don't think i've ever used it in the game so i thought i would just try something different and use that and i'm really struggling to figure out how to um kind of looking at the roofing of this build reminded me of like, i want to do videos on like building tips and i'm really struggling as to how i'm going to film it i have an idea but it's just a matter of like finding the time to film it and making sure it's structured right but i'm also thinking of maybe doing a build i mean a build a stream where i do like building tips or 101 or whatever where we just kind of focus on like people can ask questions and i can show them how i would do it or something like that and we could do it that way i think because it's a bit more interactive it's a lot easier but I, d I think for people who don't watch streams or whatever the case may be i want something for youtube as well i want a few things for youtube as well i wasn't 100% happy with the roof room for this but if you see the reference image the area where I've done the living room is technically supposed to be like a garage but I really didn't want a garage one a 20 by 15 lot we don't have a lot of space and I didn't really want to use the space for a garage and not actually use the garage for anything it could have been converted into another room or whatever the case may be but I just decided to like forget the garage but go with the same shape so I've gone with the same shape and I've just used the garage space as the living room and then like opened it up to the what do you call it the kitchen i do kind of wish we did have a dining table though i can't lie i do really wish we had that but i guess maybe the next gen we'll have more children and then we'll do it that way i don't know how i'm gonna pan it out yeah i don't know how like i'm gonna do it i think sometimes i don't know how you guys play but do you give yourselves little challenges when you're playing sometimes because i've done it before where each generation has one extra child so if i start with the generation one and they had two children or they have one child the next generation has to have two and then the generation after that has three children and generation after four i think i got to five children and i was like i don't want to ever do this again <laughs> no i think i got to did i get to five or four i can't remember if i got to four and i was like yeah i don't want to do this again i don't want to get to six i don't want to get to eight i don't want to get to nine or ten or whatever the case may be i just didn't want to keep going because i was just like <sighs> and also because there's not much for them to do like it'd be different if i was like playing it on my console and I had them go to university and like do that like, have their own lives I felt like when they're all kind of living in the the free main wells like Oasis Springs, Willow Creek and Newcrest I kind of just felt it was like, too close to home so it, it just wasn't fulfilling enough but maybe I'll go back to the save maybe I won't I don't know but like I'm interested to know how you guys play if you guys give yourself little challenges or if you do legacy challenges or if you just play however you want to play do you play with your sim self I'm interested to know 
I am planning on doing, I don't know if I've mentioned this already, I think I've mentioned this in another video. I've like pre-filmed two videos and then this one I literally filmed recently and was like I can edit this, edit this and put it out quicker than the other two so I'm going to do this one first and edit the others ready for Thursday and next Tuesday. So I just thought I'd do that that way. <laughs> but anyway, I have an idea for a video because I was watching Ocean Sims and she was talking about how to like slow down your game and I was really inspired. So I was like, you know what, I'm going to make my sim self and kind of like create the world or the life that I'd want to live for myself and I'm going to play it. But I'm just going to play it quite slowly and just like enjoy the time and really like think about what I would want in my life if I was a sim. And it's, it's I don't know, it's kind of interesting. I've definitely played with my sim self before and it was an experience and a half because I played it on my laptop and I used I think it was a woohoo wellness and so like I just ended up like woohooing with this sim and we ended up having a child and then the sim it's at him he the sim wasn't great he just wasn't great and I was like this is literally my in real life nightmare and it's happening in the sims and I thought that's it I'm never playing my sim self again because what if it's like a what if it's like something that's coming to like what if it comes to fruition I, I don't want that I don't want it so this is why I stay at home <laughs> to avoid any people, anything. But I guess you gotta leave the house sometimes and do stuff outside sometimes. <laughs> but anyway, I haven't digressed. But yeah, just interested to switch things up with my gameplay and things like that because sometimes it can it can, it can get boring and just like repetitive. So I think trying new challenges and doing things different ways can really help. I started the lazy challenge. I can't remember who it's by, so I'm going to put it on the um, screen and put it in the description. I started that. I haven't gone back to it just yet, but I started it because it was kind of fun. Again, it was another short lifespan legacy. It was like crazy that you would have your heirs kind of fight it out to see who would basically become the next gen, basically. Or like you have to like leave your sims to themselves. Like whatever skills, whatever skills they have in the highest is the one that's going to be the next gen. But it's like you can't influence that. You just have to let them do what they're doing. Which is quite interesting because I I am a bit of a control freak when it comes to my Sims. Like I like things to work a certain way, and I don't do a lot of storytelling. I've noticed that when I watch other people play, or like even when I watch people do storytelling kind of videos, I'm just like, oh, I wish I was a bit more of a storyteller because I feel like I just play. I don't really think about the I think about the storyline, but it's all in my head. It's not a thing of like, oh, the reason why I've chosen for Sally to do this is because in her story, Sally is this and blah, blah, blah. like I don't really do that, and I'm like. Maybe I should, you know? Maybe I should do that. I did a tweet earlier about how I just wish I could eat pasta and play Sims all day. <laughs> and that tweet got a few people like retweeting it and liking it, which was kind of funny to think that. I'm glad I'm not the only one who just wants to eat pasta and play Sims all day. <laughs> because honestly, that would be the life, would it not? Has anyone else um, applied to the EA Game Changers? Game Creative Network? I think it's Creative Network now, isn't it? I think that's what it's called. But I applied just to see what would happen. You never know. I think it's I think it's important just to like put yourself out there just to put things out there because you never you never know. You never know. So right, with this house, anyway, I feel like I haven't spoken about this house, but with this house I tried to use things that I don't normally use. I say that, but I feel like the only thing I haven't used before is the eco lifestyle, like chairs and stuff like that in the living space, which is something I haven't actually used, but I did use in this build. But I just saw the pattern, I was like, oh, this is kind of cute, I like it. And I felt like it kind of worked because it wasn't very, really, like, heavy kind of furniture. And I felt like in a place like Oasis spring, sp Springs, <laughs> Oasis Springs, you need furniture that would kind of have a lot of airflow through it. That's what I have in my mind anyway. Like, you wouldn't want, like, a really hot chair to sit on in a hot environment. Like, you'd want something that's really comfortable, but you also want, like, air to flow through it so that you could still feel cool. That was the kind of thought process I had in mind so I tried not to do too much even though the season's beds is very much like quilts and pillows and covers and it's very like warm and cozy that I, I guess with the bedroom I just that went out of my head basically the idea of like keeping things cool and <laughs> flowy or whatever the case may be so yeah that went out the window but we move so as I was playing this save they had their baby and everything like that and we now have a child because she aged up and then we had our second baby who is also another girl and i was like oh that's kind of cute and um so we got like two girls that's cute and i think we're only just we're just gonna have the two i'm just gonna leave it as a two i think also as well playing on short lifespan means that you don't have loads and loads of time so i don't want loads and loads of children and then the mum is like a young adult for forever and the dad's already like past. I don't want that. So I am going to give him a potion of youth, which I guess maybe defeats the object because if I'm playing on short life 
lifespan and I give a potion of youth, does that now make it normal lifespan? Probably. But I like the idea that things move really fast, but I just don't want them to be elders just yet. <laughs> Maybe they can be elders when the second one is aged up to a child and the first child is aged up to a teen, because they, they actually have the same birthday. I don't know if we ended up woohooing on the same days, but they literally have the same birthday. And I went to go and age up the baby and was like, oh, the child's the toddler's babies today as well cool we'll just bring out the cake from the fridge and age them up and then they just autonomously aged up and i was like oh no i hate when i miss my sims birthdays like i hate it and i don't normally forget them that often but when i do i'm just like oh my gosh how did i forget that but it is what it is <laughs> it's what it is i always have a cake with candles in the fridge on standby so that whenever there is a birthday at least i'm prepared to like blow the candles even if that's literally the only thing that gets done for my sims birthdays at least i have that for them you know i think that's better than nothing i would say i would say <laughs> but yeah she aged up to a child and because she i think we are just gonna have the first what the first born child be gen two so i just aged her up with the trait bookworm because it obviously begins with b and i was like i don't know what other b traits there are i'm gonna have to double check because if there's not then i might have to do like c and then but then I can't change the book worm. So I have to double check that to see if it's going to work or if I'm going to need to have the second child be Gen 2 and then she'll have C traits or whatever. Things like that. I had to think about that. <laughs> it's not the end of the world, but it's kind of fun to think about that. The kind of storyline really just depends on the traits that they get. And the traits that they get is based on the alphabet and not necessarily like the sim itself. So I'm just basing it around that. But I think it's pretty cool. Oh yeah, I also got them married as well. They got married while she was pregnant with the second baby. And the wedding photos are so cute. I actually got them to like pose for the for the camera and so it was a cute little moment. They had their wedding in Oasis Springs. I am fully aware that I did the last current household video and it was in Oasis Springs as well. I guess I just love this world. <laughs> I guess I just love it and I think I really do not that I think I really do love Oasis Springs it is definitely one of my favorite worlds and I'm really starting to love Willow Creek like I don't know what it is but I'm just really starting to love it I really love the homey kind of suburban vibe that it has I really do enjoy it so talking about Willow Creek <laughs> kind of side lined the, the topic there but talking about Willow Creek so Hot Mess Simmer is doing a Madeline save and she wants some like builders to like build for Willow Creek and Oasis Springs so last week on stream I started building one of the lots for the save I started building in Foundry Cove I think the neighborhood is called in Oasis not in Oasis Springs Willow Creek and I started building that on stream on Thursday no Friday so I'm going to continue that this Thursday so again I'm going to mention it in this video because by the video by the time the video goes up on Thursday the stream would have had ended by then because I'm going to be streaming at 1 p.m in the afternoon GMT time so yeah if you want to join please do I'm really 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 close to making a video because I am four followers away from 50 followers and I've got all the other kind of sections for that part ticked off so yeah it'll be really great to have like a milestone being being met really soon i didn't think i'd get there so soon to be honest i never know how long i've been streaming a couple of months but it's been really interesting i've had a lot of fun i'm still like working on some of the kinks and the problems that i'm having sometimes i've got some technical issues and audio issues but for the most part i just really enjoy streaming and last friday's stream was really really chilled because i had like some nice jazzy lo-fi music and i think i'm going to go with that vibe on thursday as well and just like take time <laughs> and i didn't like ramble all the time in stream i kind of just like let myself build enjoyed the music and it was nice for people to come into the stream and be like oh i'm just gonna lurk whilst i do work and i just thought that was cute like you could watch my stream while you're working but anyway i've spoken for way too long <laughs> and the video is literally ending so yeah i'm gonna show you the tour next <laughs> Hey guys, so you would have seen the speed build for this build. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about it yet. I don't know how I feel about it, but it will do. I really struggled with what to build. I thought I had an idea of what I liked and what I was going to build. And then 
I changed my mind. <laughs> so this is not even the build I was originally going to build when I first started filming this video. I had a totally different build in mind. So the picture that I show you as like a reference is what I'm going to use for this build. But originally this was not my idea. <laughs> so yeah, I don't know how I feel about it yet, but I'm kind of happy with the layout. It was a lot more pricey than I thought it was going to be. It was like 42k I believe. And so when I moved in, Emily, she had like a bunch of money, which is great. So we could afford this ham. This ham? We could afford this ham. <laughs> we could afford this home. And we was left with like 14k, which is good, which is pretty good to have over. Especially because it's short lifespan. You don't have a lot of time to like work on your career and really get loads of money, get loads of promotions, unless you're like grinding. So we, that 14 gate is going to serve us well especially for like the next gen when we want to build them at home and things like that i think what i'm going to do is continue on the same lot and just keep building on this lot for the legacy and i like the fact that it's a small 20 by 15 lot as well so when i originally built this i built this on a, another lot because i didn't want to board those this one yet <laughs> the first one yet so i ended up building that in another lot and then i just placed it down on the lot that i was originally playing in if that makes sense so yeah let me give you guys a tour of the new home so I did very simple landscaping on the outsides, not much. I kind of kept the same kind of pathway idea. I kind of liked that. So yeah, oh, it's not even playing because my Sims are doing stuff and I'm not even playing it, but yeah. This is the main door. When you go in, we have a mirror, we have the stairs. I've put the little decoration spots because it's actually egg day in the game. So I just thought I would add that decorations. What is poking through? I think that's a chair that's breaking through the wall fabulous <laughs> if you want this build i will put it up on the gallery for you guys when i build homes i'm gonna play in i leave the walls quite bare because i like to add in my own paintings and like portraits and family photos and stuff so that's why the walls are quite bare but yeah this is the living space and i kind of just went with the eco lifestyle chairs i don't know why but i really liked them and i went with like this yellow theme with the light woods look at the lighting coming through that is so pretty so pretty and we've got a little tv here <laughs> and the plant and if I swing around you just got the little book stand thing hanging plant some kind of event is happening great we've got the little parenting board here Emily is pregnant we was right look at her little bump she's entering the third trimester in a few hours time so that is cute this is the kitchen I thought I was gonna have enough room to have like a dining table here but I didn't look at little gilly he looks sad. Why are you sad, buddy? Hmm. He looks sad. But yeah, this is the kitchen. <laughs> so all we've got is a little island. We don't have like formal dining or just a dining room essentially. We have a little picnic table outside. Can you see it from it? Yeah, you can. So there's that, but it's not, it's not a lot, you know? And if I swing around, you can just see ooh, the kitchen layout. So we've got the sink in the island. We've got the oven there, stove. And then we have the little fridge. And if I swing around here, we have the bathroom and also the laundry room. So I've just put in the toilet. Where is the toilet? Okay, that's the laundry basket. The toilet's here. <laughs> and then if you just go through the little archway, there's the washing machine and the sink, little mirror there. Just like a guest bathroom essentially. Oh, I put the dustpan and brush and broom thingy there. And if you come out, into the kitchen we have slidey doors we have the little picnic table we have the toy box i also want to get him a cat as well it did come up as a whim before but that whim disappeared i thought i pinned it but i guess not so i'm going to get him a cat as well them a cat as well a little bit of landscaping again i got a basketball hoop because i don't ever use it in my games so i thought it'd be good to use and because we're in oasis springs i kind of like the idea of hanging your laundry because it's kind of always going to be somewhat warm let's go through this door again out from the living room and then you have the main bedroom okay anthony is awake this is their bedroom i just went with the bed and then i based around like the tones like your warm soft tones around that i just zoom out a bit so this is the bedroom it's kind of simple nothing you know too much in here we've got the wardrobe and mirror we've got the chair and the light i think the light or the chair is poking through the door i mean the wall it could potentially be the chair. Yeah, I think it's no, I think it might be the light actually, so I'm gonna have to move that. And then they have their own bathroom, they have a nice big tub right under the window, they have a little shower there. There's a toilet here. And then I spin around and we have 
a nice sink. And like I said, I do want a cat, so I'll put the litter in there. And then if we come out, they have a really nice view from their bedroom. Really nice. And if we come out and go up the stairs. So the other stairs, there is two rooms up here in the bedroom in a bathroom, sorry. So in this room it's empty. I've just put in the stuff for an office space because Anthony's career requires him to like live up in his writing skill and we need a computer to do that. So I've been trying to get him to go to the library and do it, but I'm like, that is so much effort. So I kinda like the realism of that though. So that was kind of fun to do, but just having a little office space here would, would suffice. And then we have a wardrobe. This room is probably gonna become another child's room. I think we're gonna have two children, but um, for now it's like just a temporary office space. And then this is the first child's room, the one that we are currently pregnant with. I just thought it was, you know, a nice little warm room with some like yellow tones, which I thought was cute. That is the bedroom. And then they have a wardrobe as well. Look at the lighting coming through there. And then if we come out and go down here, there is the bathroom. So we've got the toilet there, we've got the shower tub combo, and then we've got the sink here. Yeah, that's pretty much it. That's a tour, guys. But yeah, guys, just wanted to show you the home, the little household I'm playing with. But I thought it was fun to play on. It is, it is actually really fun to play on short lifestyle, Lif lifestyle, lifespan, because you just have to be quick with everything. <laughs> and yeah, I think it's just fun to do it that way. And I do want to adopt a kitten, so we're we gonna do that. Yeah, that's. I just wanted to show you the speed build, show you a bit of the household. I haven't done like an updated current household for the last video that I did, which I'm gonna put in the description and I'll put it in the cards as well. So what I'm gonna do, I'm probably not even gonna update that one. I'm gonna update you guys on this one. So when we have second gener the second generation going, I'll do another update for this current household if you're interested. If not, then I won't do it. But if you're interested, I'll happily do it. But yeah, how do you play your games? Do you prefer long, normal, or short lifespan when you play your games? I'm interested to know because I like long and I also just like short. So I'm like, not a fan so much of the middle. The normal is okay, but I'd, I'd much rather it be long so I could really like go through university and do it fully and at least have some time left for me to be a for my sim to be a young adult and i like short because it's a bit more of a challenge it requires you to be really quick with everything and fast and i'm trying with this challenge and this kind of legacy to not speed for everything all the time so i'm trying to just let the game play so like just having some things lined up and just letting it play as opposed to like trying to fast forward for it i was really inspired by ocean sims video about how to like slow down your game and things like that so i was just trying to slow it down i mean we're already on a short lifespan okay i don't need to fast forward it all the time so i thought i would do that but yeah guys i hope you enjoyed this video i hope it the speedball portion isn't super super long i have not but yeah this is just a little current household update i just wanted to do some building also show you what sims i'm playing with and their stories and things like that so yeah, that's that's pretty much all I wanted to show you guys, and I hope you liked the build. Again, it is up in the gallery. My gallery ID is Sabi the Summer. If you want this build, thanks so much for watching this video, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. I hope you have a great day. If you did like this video, please do leave a like. I'd really appreciate it. If you haven't already subscribed, please do. I would love to have you join this crew. <laughs> and also, I would love a comment as well. Let me know how you play your games. If it's long life lifespan, short lifespan, normal lifespan. I'm interested to know in the comments so do let me know i shall see you on thursday for a new video take care bye